Good morning, students. Today we are going to be talking about a poem um, by a 13th century Sufi mystic and Persian whose name was Rumi. Rumi is a poet who is um, very popular in the United States even today, which is quite a few centuries after he lived. He was born in 1207 A.D. in um, Persia, which it, it, which is now today uh, present-day Afghanistan. And he died when he was 66 in 1279. In spite of the fact that he lived such a long time ago, his poems are still enjoyed today in the United States, as well as in Europe and the Middle East and Southeast Asia. The poem that we're going to be looking at today is called Elephant in the Dark. Um, and I will read it to you first, and then we will talk about the images that uh, Rumi is using in this poem to provide quite an interesting message. Okay, the poem begins, Some Hindus have an elephant to show. No one here has ever seen an elephant. They bring it at night to a dark room. One by one, we go in the dark and come out seeing how we experience the animal. One of us happens to touch the trunk, a water pipe kind of creature. Another, the ear, a very strong, always moving back and forth fan animal. Another, the leg. I find it still like a column on a temple. Another touches the curved back, a leathery throne. Another, the cleverest, feels the tusk. A rounded sword made of porcelain. He's proud of his description. Each of us touches one place and understands the whole that way. The palm and the fingers, feeling in the dark, are how the senses explore the reality of the elephant. If each of us held a candle there, and if we went in together, we could see it. Okay, let's look now at a kind of an interesting image of a of this poem. Um, and this is a picture of the all these five, in this case, uh, five people touching different parts of the elephant. And um, although they're not in the dark because then you wouldn't be able to see the picture, they're blindfolded to show that like in the dark, they can't see uh, what what they're touching. They really don't know what this is. And since they touch only one part of it, that's all they know. Okay, um, so the poem is about different perspectives um, where gained of something in the dark where your eyes are useless. <clears throat> the first person uh, touches, touches a trunk and thinks it feels like a water pipe. The second person touches the ear and notices it flaps, goes back and forth. He thinks it's some kind of a fan animal, that this must be a fan. The third touches the leg and thinks it feels like a temple column, so he imagines that's what this is. The fourth touches the back and thinks it feels like a leather throne. And the fifth tus touches the tusk of the elephant and thinks the elephant feels like a sword. Um, the point of the poem, I think, and I'd like to hear your your feedback from all of you about this as well, is that if people get together and share their perspectives, they can see the reality of things, and this applies to different things in the world. Um, okay, and that's about it. And I want to hear from all of you about, after reading this poem yourselves on your own, your interpretation of the poem. Thank you.